Hi friends. Welcome to another learning video on Pharma Guideline. Today we are discussing the key differences between qualification and validation. Qualification and validation are two important terms used in the pharmaceutical and medical device industries. While they share some similarities, there are key differences between the two concepts. Qualification is the process of ensuring that equipment, facilities, and utilities are suitable for their intended use and meet predefined specifications. Validation, on the other hand, is the process of ensuring that a product, process, or system meets its intended requirements and specifications. The purpose of the qualification is to ensure that equipment, facilities, and utilities are capable of consistently producing quality products in accordance with regulations and industry standards. The purpose of validation is to ensure that a product or process consistently meets its intended specifications and requirements. Qualification is typically performed before a piece of equipment, facility, or utility is put into use. Validation is performed after the product, process, or system has been developed and is in use. Qualification is typically focused on the physical aspects of equipment, facilities, and utilities, such as their design, installation, and performance. Validation, on the other hand, is focused on the performance and functionality of a product, process, or system, and may involve testing, analysis, and documentation. Qualification can be broken down into several types, including design qualification, installation qualification, operational qualification, and performance qualification. Validation can be broken down into process validation, equipment validation, and software validation. Qualification and validation both require documentation to be created and maintained. Qualification documentation typically includes specifications, drawings, installation and operating manuals, and test records. Validation documentation includes protocols, test results, reports, and traceability records. Validation typically requires a risk-based approach, where the level of testing and documentation is determined by the level of risk associated with the product, process, or system. Qualification may also use a risk-based approach, but it is not always necessary. Change control is important in both qualification and validation. However, the approach to change control may differ. In qualification, changes may require the requalification of the equipment, facility, or utility. In validation, changes may require revalidation of the product, process, or system. Qualification is typically a one-time event for each piece of equipment, facility, or utility. Validation may be performed multiple times throughout the life cycle of a product, process, or system to ensure that it continues to meet its intended specifications and requirements. Both qualification and validation are required by regulatory agencies such as the FDA and AMA. However, the specific requirements for each may differ depending on the type of product or process being developed. While qualification and validation share some similarities, they are distinct concepts with different purposes, scopes, and types. Understanding the differences between the two is important in ensuring the safety and efficacy of pharmaceutical and medical device products. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video.